Hello everyone, this is Darko 2012, a global government news. I'm reading an article from uh, Times Online titled, Children Reaching Age 3 Without Being Able to Say a Word, Survey Finds. Children are reaching the age of 3 without being able to say a word, according to a survey that also found boys are almost twice as likely to struggle to learn to speak as girls. The average age for a baby to speak their first words is 10 to 11 months. However, a significant minority, 4% of parents, reported that their child said nothing until they were three. Toddlers between the ages of two and three should be able to, to use up uh, 300 words, including adjectives, and being able to link words together, according to ICANN, the children's communication charity. Late speech development uh, can lead to problems such as low achievement at school or mental health problems. The survey of more than a thousand parents found that a child's background was not a factor in how they were uh, they learned to talk. Working parents who put their babies in daycare are just as likely to have a child whose speech develops late as those who leave their baby in front of a television. Virginia Beard uh, Beardshaw, the chief executive of ICANN, said the leaning at learning to talk required help and encouragement. We know there is a golden period for developing children's communication between zero and five and that early intervention is vital if children are struggling she said chatting to your child playing word games pointing things out and having fun together every day all give your child the right to start communication communication parents should interact as much as possible reading stories and talking to their children to encourage them to start talking speech therapists advise they say that dummies should only be resorted to at bedtime so children are free to make sounds and form words during the day. I'm not really sure what that means. More girls than boys, 34% uh, against 27% said their first words said their first word before they reached 9 months. The YouGov poll 1015 parents of children aged 1 to 7 found Almost one in six parents reported that their children had problems learning to talk. Among parents of boys, the figure rose to one in four. The vast majority, 95% of parents, remembered their child's first word. The most common was da da, 50%, and 10% saying mama first. Besides parental names, the top word was cat, followed by car and no. Some more unusual choices were beer, gadget, hoover, and even... Uh, tits up <laughs> girls were quicker to join words together with more than 20 percent having done so by the age of one compared to 16 percent of boys almost one quarter of those who had problems learning to talk did not receive any help from speech and language therapist nursery or playgroup staff john gross the government's new ad uh, new advisor on childhood language development said that it was a real problem that children as old as three were unable to talk it has lifelong effects for children in terms of their ability to learn to read and write, she said. Miss Gross said the childhood health targets were too focused on obesity levels and uh, immunization rates at the expense of more subtle difficulties. All those surveyed last month reported looking at picture books with their child, telling stories, playing word games, and singing nursery rhymes with boys and girls enjoying these activities equally and at similar age. However, Children from more affluent families were said to enjoy doing so at a younger age than children from less affluent families. 80% of parents knew that the correct response if their child mispronounced a word was to repeat it back to them in the correct way. Uh, it says the case study, uh, he's now chatty and sociable. Lee Rose reached the age of three, able to say only five words. His parents were not worried. I had no other child to compare him with, and his father was a late talker, said Emma Rose from Plymouth. Doctors and health visitors did not pick up the problem. It was not until Lee's uh, nursery teachers noticed that he lashed out at his mother in frustration that concerns were raised. After an assessment, he was referred to an ICANN Center, a mainstream nursery school with specialist speech, uh, with a specialist speech or speech specialist and language department and support group for parents. Lee spent 12 months at the center. It was the one-to-one -one help that he needed in early intervention. Um, I think this article, I'm, post I'm posting this art article because uh, it falls under um, kind of the, uh, the topic of uh, dumbing people down, especially young people.
um, as as kind of a um, uh, a strategy, I guess you can say, for the New World Order and the elites, the scientific dictatorship, uh, who doesn't want people in order to control people the uh, the best thing to do is to target them while they're young so that they cannot even be able to form complete sentences um, and they can, and they aren't even e they're able to process information uh, complex information such as uh, information that the elites uh, are all about right the way they speak you have to be able to um, understand like lengthy sentences and uh, they know this and they know that when they talk to each other uh, through the media that it's almost like they're speaking in code because they're speaking so uh, fluently right that uh, the, the populace the majority of you know people aren't even e able to understand really you know really what is it that they're saying and that's why they always have little those little smirky faces uh, for, uh, smirky expressions on their faces. Um, so it is kind of like a strategic, uh, you know, people who are thinking, a po you know, a, a population or in a country that is like uh, Scandinavia and whatnot, that are able to think uh, clearly and be able to speak at a young age um, is a threat, is a direct threat to the establishment. And so, uh, you know, the whole goal of the Department of Education here in the United States is to dumb our children down. Um, it has nothing to do with making them more literate to be able to read and write and do, you know, complex mathematics. Um, I've gone through the system. I know how it is. Although I don't totally agree with this uh, survey. Um, let me show you here. Um, as far as this goes, this uh, late speech development can lead to problems such as low achievement at school or mental health problems. Um, I didn't sp I didn't start speaking until I was uh, five years old. Um, I had to go to kindergarten twice because you know I had problems reading. Um, but you know I did graduate you know from university. You know I graduated uh, with a 3.4 a grade point average. Um, I made the themes list a couple times. I was nominated for Husu, and I'm sitting here reading right now. So you can take that and shove it up your ass. That's all I got to say about that, as far as our little research goes. Um, you know, as far as speaking late in life, uh, I don't really see a big deal as far as that goes. You can always overcome uh, being, a, you know, having to speak later in life. I don't think it's a big deal. Um, I think the biggest issue with this story and this and this uh, study is that is that if there's more people that are speaking at a later age, then it becomes a problem, right? So um, that's pretty much all I have to really say about this. Thank you.